Hey guys, what's up? Pete Solving Nerd here. I've been following the development of PRS for about a year now. I've been reading the PRism blog, I've been watching PRisms and Hacker Games YouTube videos showing off the Librem 5, and I really wanted a Librem 5, but since I'm a teenager, I can't exactly afford one. You know, I'm not made of money, I'd have to convince my parents to get me a $800 uncompleted Linux phone. Uh, so, I ended up getting the Pine phone instead using Christmas money. And so, I was very excited to learn that somebody ported PureOS to the Pine phone. Well, I already knew it before I even got the Pine phone, but still, I was excited to learn that. So, let's find out how good it is. In 2017, Purism crowdfunded the Librem 5 on their website. From there, they started working on PureOS and Fosh for the Librem 5. Purism already maintained PureOS as a desktop operating system with the goal to follow free software foundation standards. So, development began on porting PureOS to the Librem 5. Now, the Librem 5 was originally promised to ship GNOME, but uh, GNOME doesn't work well on a phone. So instead, uh, Purism started developing a shell for the Librem 5 that uses GNOME technologies in the GNOME ecosystem called Fosh. Most Linux shells use Qt, so it was going to take a long time and a lot of work to make GDK mobile friendly. Purism started work on developing LibHandy, which allowed developers to make their apps adaptive and work across the desktop as well as the phone. Fosh was de being developed very quickly. In January 2019, Hackers Game released a video of PureOS barely being able to boot on the Librem 5 developer kit. But only six months later, in June 2019, Purism had demos of Solitaire working on a phone that looked reasonably stable. Fast forward to March of 2020, a PinePhone developer by the name of Moswald created a port of PureOS to the PinePhone. This was done by taking PostMarket OS and adding PureOS's root file system. However, eventually the PinePhone developer Clover took over development of the PinePhone port. Since Clover took over, it has become less like pure OS for the Librem 5 and more like its own thing. There are a lot of weird hacks and patches that the Librem 5 version doesn't have. So keep in mind this isn't an exact port of pure OS from the Librem 5 to the PinePhone, and more like its own distro that is, just happens to be based on pure OS. So I'm going to start dropping the installation section of these videos because pretty much all of them are the same. It's kind of just a waste of time. So, and if it's more complicated to install, I'll make a separate video on how to install it like I did with the Postmarket OS installation video. Anyways, let's get to the next section, UI. PRS uses the Fosh desktop environment. Now I have talked about Fosh already, however Purism maintains Fosh, so Fosh should work better on PostMarket OS than any other distros, and Fosh does seem to run faster in PureOS than on Mobian, so good job PureOS. PureOS's UI is very simple, you hit the arrow button on the bottom to reach the overview which shows your recent apps and app list, and there's also a notification center if you tap the status bar at the top. This allows you to change some basic settings and view notifications. Given that Fosh takes advantage of the GNOME ecosystem significantly, most of the apps follow the GNOME human design guidelines. So, basically, all apps have a similar design. If you use Fosh with GNOME apps, the experience in terms of design can rival iOS. The default app selection is minimal. It comes with Purism's phone and messaging app, GNOME Web, Contacts, uh, Calculator, Chess, Clocks, Document Viewer, a GNOME Power Supply app, Settings, GNOME Software Center, Terminal, Text Editor, and Usage. It also comes with a dedicated flashlight app and Kitten Player, which is weird because Kitten Player is a QML app that cannot fit on the screen in portrait mode, so I don't know why that's included. So it is slightly different from PureOS's default app selection on the Librem 5 because it's missing Icon Browser, which PureOS comes with on the Librem 5, and PureOS for the Pine Phone ships of Kitten Player power supply and a flashlight app, so keep that in mind. Again, this is not an exact port of PRS. And any GDK app that can adapt to the PinePhone screen should run flawlessly on PRS. although some apps might be a bit slow because they are made to be ran on the Librem 5, which is much more powerful than the PinePhone. Qt apps also should run fine, 
but they are harder to install because there are not a lot of adaptive Qt apps in the POS repo, which means you are forced to use flat packs, and I couldn't get any flat packs to work, so I wasn't able to test any Qt apps. But Qt apps should work fine on Fosh if you can get them installed. On POS, it can load web pages at a decently fast speed, but scrolling is choppy. Gnome Web can actually load YouTube videos on POS, but they are pretty choppy, so the experience isn't good. Firefox ESR can also be installed from the POS repo, but when you run it, you get some weird dbus library bug. This can be fixed by modifying Firefox's.desktop file to change the GDK backend to Wayland. That's GDK, not GTK. After making these changes to run Firefox, it runs somewhat slow, but it does work, although I think I prefer Gnome Web to Firefox for browsing on POS. Purism has several matrix groups and email lists for POS, and they also have a POS category on the Purism forums. However, the PinePhone version of POS doesn't really have any community platforms other than its Git repo and the Pine64 form thread for POS. Even though POS on the PinePhone isn't an exact port of POS from the Wayburn 5, I believe that POS on the PinePhone is a great choice if you want a Debian-based distro with a bleeding-edge version of Fosh. So if you like Fosh, check out POS. So that's the video. Thank you for watching this video. Uh, thanks to patrons Mitchell Bantino, Sam Covet, Jim Peter, Jonathan Reynolds, and Ashton Scott Snap. So uh, if you want to support this channel, please use that patron link in the description as well as hit that tip button if you are using LBRY. And if you aren't using LBRY, then that like button will be appreciated too. So anyways, bye, see ya.